this fighter pilot end up becoming a transformation leader in this business world? The reason we excelled as fighter pilots is because we had a culture of debriefing whereby every single day we would figure out how to get a little bit better the next day to the point where you're in the upper echelon uh, by the end of the experience. Seventy percent of enterprises say they have piloted AI, yet fewer than fifteen percent have realized the impact at scale. The intelligence era is no longer about experimentation; it's about converting AI into operational leverage and PNL outcomes. So today's guest, Joel Neep, the Chief Transformation and Business Operations Officer at Eight by Eight. Companies have more dashboards and data than ever, but decision velocity is much slower than ideally it should be. At eight by eight, you are in a space where communication and customer experience that produces millions of data, real time insights, and if any industry is built for the intelligence era first, I would think this is one of the industries, right? So, how do you define intelligence era? How it is different from the BI and automation, which We used to see like previous decades. We're leaving the information age. We're we're entering the insight age. What does that mean? It means we can take the mountains of information on the previous era and the universal access to it, and now begin to extract and build the signal from the noise. We can start to understand how does it, this information synthesize to give me an insight into a direction I should take. Right now, we are more into taking actions on the data. What are the biggest misconceptions leaders still have about AI? We're still not seeing the value derived from it. We lack that A/B contrast right now.、Mm-hmm. I can't see what good AI looks like because I'm the one that has to create it. I don't have that version of Google or Amazon in 2000 that lets me see that yet. Because I'm still the person inputting the prompt. Well, you are building something what you have called as enterprise nervous system, right? Of、uh, bringing intelligence into your、uh, daily flow of some fifty thousand plus customers. That's a massive operational task. We're moving from just a mere communications plumbing. Platform into communications intelligence, meaning we're able to once again look at this vast trove of communication data that we're already providing, and then be able to extract that signal from the noise and un- understand what the intelligence is and the real voice of the company to be able to extract that from all that communication taking place and leverage AI to do so. When we talk to the enterprises, they also talk about AI factory. So this is getting very catchy nowadays, and a lot of companies like Nvidia they have their own structure or framework for AI. Factory. I tell eight by eight that I want us to become an insight factory.、Mm-hmm. AI investment maps directly to the business outcomes. There could be a lot of reasons, maybe peer pressure, or they have to, you know, do something. I want you to first f- forget AI exists. I want you to visualize your existing processes. Maybe that's fifty-two steps in that process to get your customer through the sale. We could probably bring it down to thirty. We would probably add a lot of edge cases and other things that we don't need to have in there any longer. Bring it down to thirty first. Now I want you to ask, what's the bottleneck in that process? And once you identify that, that's where you're going to bring AI. So culture decides whether the AI platform is a partner or actually a problem. So once they get stuck in different organizations, I believe it's the toughest thing, right? It's not easy. The change is hard. I get it. I'm asking you to, you know, change everything that you do and continue changing everything that you do. The good news is, if you're three months ahead in terms of technology and adoption. You're literally a subject matter expert on AI at this stage. Risk and governance is such an important factor. We protect customer data, trust, especially in communication. You cannot afford to have any mistakes. It's most important to understand what the liability really is. In other words, what are the risks? And、um, and a lot of people that I talk to will say things like, "I'm not using AI yet because I don't want to be exposed to those risks." You're exposing yourself to the risk and security challenges without using it. And on top of that, you're allowing your competitors to basically have a superpower. That you're lacking、yes. right now. Your entire journey from FOS to eight by eight—it's amazing. It's so touching, and thank you for giving us masterclass on how to build an intelligence era enterprise.